Hi, I'm Kitty, I'm 19 and I run a little bakery. This is what my week looks like. I'm completely self-taught and make everything by hand. The first thing I do is unpack and label any delivery of ingredients. This seems tedious, but I find it very satisfying. I then move on to my croissant dough. Yep, this is butter. Butter makes everything better. I sandwich it between two sheets of dough and roll it out. I'll do this about four times to get them flaky layers and then I'll shape them into croissants. It took me about three months to learn how to make sourdough. It took me three years to learn how to make croissants, but I'm so proud every time I make them. Next, I make a pastry called the Pan Suisse. It's like a rich man's pan au chocolat, but with more chocolate and vanilla cream. I actually had no idea these pastries even existed until two years ago when I worked in a bakery in Paris and I've been obsessed ever since. The pastries then go into the fridge whilst I make the sweet dough. This then also goes into the fridge, which makes it a lot easier to make buns with the next day. I love my walk-in, but I genuinely have nightmares about getting stuck in there. All my bread is sourdough, so the day before I make the dough, I mix up the starter, Gary. I then go home and do some boring bakery paperwork, but it's necessary. I couldn't find any of my headbands this morning, so I forced my sister to braid my hair. Gary the starter is looking very happy, so I mix my dough. I make around 100 kilos, which makes about 120 loaves. I'm currently obsessed with these cheesecake brownies and so make a big batch of them and then have a cup of tea. It hasn't stopped raining for about four hours now. So British. It smells so good. And then I get the sweet dough from yesterday and I make it into my buns. First the milk chocolate and hazelnut and then the knotted cinnamon. I think these are my favourite. But then I do say that about nearly everything. Then I'll fold my sourdough, this stretches the gluten. I'll chop it and shape it. This is one of those tasks that is just so calming, you could do again and again and again. All the loaves then go into these wicker bannetons and into the fridge to chill. I really do love this walk-in. Finally, I'll set the ovens and then brave the weather. In the morning, the ovens are on and ready to go. I'll put my apron on and I'll fill out the bakery checklist. This is very important for food safety. Now we're getting to the fun part. So all the loaves come out and they get slit and put in the oven. I don't have steam injections, so I use a garden spray to add water. I then put some music on and put the pastries in. Whilst everything bakes, I'll cut up the brownie and have one for breakfast. And then the loaves come out. I'm very happy with these fellas. I then get the buns ready to put in the oven microwave my coffee for the fourth time in the morning and see dawn. I like to spray the tin loaves with water to stop the crust from cracking. I then dimple the focaccia, this is one of the best jobs. I then have a moment of feeling a bit overwhelmed, but it's okay, I can start glazing the buns. Soon everything is ready and out of the oven. I leave them in the sun to soak up some vitamin D, it's very important, and then load everything up into our bakery mobile. And because I have to name everything for some weird reason, the bakery mobile is called Dodo. Everything is then unloaded and sold by my lovely friends so I can go back clean and start everything for the next day. I like to make new things every single day, so today I'm making some raspberry and cardamom twists. This is my first time making them and I'm so excited. I also think everything pink is just better. Then of course I do the classics, the milk chocolate and toasted hazelnut buns, the Chelsea buns with mixed spice and tea soaked raisins. This is definitely like the grandmother's favourites. And then of course the knotted cinnamon buns. I think if I didn't do these there would be a small riot. Finally I make some more croissants or croissants. I never really know how to say it. I fold, chop and shape my sourdough, which then, like everything, goes into the fridge to chill and then bake fresh the next day. Again, I'll set the ovens and take a couple loaves home. I'm wearing my Tigger top today. Um, yes, I am a child and he is my favourite character. 
I then slit all of the loaves, this is deeply satisfying, and slide them into the oven. I then egg wash all the buns and pastries and put them in the little oven. I see light! Get so excited every time. The loaves are looking great. As you can tell, I'm very proud. I then stack the bannetons in a kind of uniform way, bake the focaccia, which is just loving the morning light. I then decorate the buns and leave them all to cool on the rack before loading them into dodo. I then drive around and lay everything out. Finally, I go back, turn my egg wash into an omelette. I was very proud of my resourcefulness, no waste. And then I procrastinate a little bit before having to clean. I'm quite tired at this point, so then I go home and I have a nap.